Hi folks, Nathaniel here at Chicago Music Exchange. I'm joined by... Tanner. What's happening? Not much, man. So yeah, we are here to talk about Nam. What was our experience? What were our favorite things? I'll tell you what wasn't my favorite thing about Nam. My least favorite thing. I know what you're about to say. in and out Burger. Hot take. <sighs> Useless, don't bother. Anyone from England or Ireland, Europe, who's wondering about in and out Burger, you see, you see it on TV, oh, that's amazing. Burger King's better than it. Oh. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> I said it. Ooh. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the Nam show itself, uh, did you have any uh, highlights from it? Man, yeah, probably a lot. It was my very first Nam show. It and was, uh, it was great, I had a great time. Yeah. It was the perfect amount. Uh, it wasn't too overwhelming, It was, but it was jam packed. There was so much to do, so much to see. So yeah. what's wrong with taking the back street? Now, now <laughs> was there any standout kind of guitars or? Amps or anything that you checked out? I had a great time playing uh, all the all the cool Dunnable stuff yeah. that, that Sasha had out. Yeah. Uh, there was a V that they had. I think you played it. Yeah, yeah. The, it's a the lot of fun. One, right? Yeah. 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 It, he has great stuff and looking forward to what he keeps putting out. Yeah. Have you played a nine string guitar before? I have. There's. There's. <laughs> exactly. So let's check some out. Wait, should I have said no? Doesn't matter. Do better for the Sorry, you messed up. Doesn't matter. <laughs> What would you go for? That one. I that love, one. I love the, the, the flame on it. I've got to say, I, I like, I like that. You can barely see the seam. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting them in June in like a bunch of different colors. Yeah. But even just a little attention to detail, like I love the little bevel here on the bottom back. Just. Could you say like, hey, Jose, what's up? Hey, Jose, what's up? Hey, Jose, what's up? Hey, Jose, what's up? Yeah. I say something funny. Can't take this guy anywhere. Okay. <laughs> I, I, Gain all the way. I'm trying to think of some of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, playing the Bachi Baritones. Uh, so that, was that was a lot cool. of fun watching well, you and, uh, and, and Mateo, Mateo play. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that, that, was, that was cool. <laughs> How did this uh, kind of come about? How did you get one of your guitars into his hands? <laughs> it's, it's, it's great. It's great that it happened. I cannot wait to see how much I am. Yeah. yeah. To have him and to have you, man, too. Oh, <laughs> That's what we are talking about. Yeah. You know, I love to make instruments for fantastic people, not just the fantastic musicians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, it's like a baby for me. You know, I give a baby to another people, another person, it's not easy. Yeah, yeah. But you guys, <laughs> the most of uh, Mateo right now, because you have it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But so I, thank you guys. No, you make awesome. me happy. This and I want to make you happy. Well, yeah. it's certainly, yeah. <laughs> I love those batches, great guitars. Um, the two rock amps, they were great. They sounded insane. As well. uh, funnily enough, I, I wanted to get around to the to the Benson Echo. Oh uh, yeah, the T-Rex. Unit or, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but every time I went to the booth, it was just thronged. It was just packed for, for good reason, yeah. I assume, because there's a lot of good talk about it. Well, stay tuned. Maybe we'll do something with it in the future. Maybe we will, maybe we will. I'd, I'd like to try them. Uh, anything else? Mule resonators, obviously Matt and uh, his dad making some uh, well, incredible guitars there. And no always. no trip to, uh, to Nam by Nathaniel would be complete without stopping by Rock Slide. Exactly, yes. It was nice to have something with my face on it there. I was, I was, <laughs> honored. I was like, oh, wow. Hi, folks, we're here. Obviously, Nam, day three. My voice is gone. Danny my voice is gone. His voice is gone. <laughs> but there's still plenty of Rock Slides for us. Uh, how's it going? You good? Good, man. It's been a great show. It's been a great show. It's been an experience. Um, is this a new slide that we're going to use? Yes, that's our new Sasquatch this... slide. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a tune out of this? I don't know. <laughs> I'd, I'd try, but if this... anybody could, oh, I it don't would know. be you. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, I'm I'm, uh, I'm here admiring all the slides available, yeah. and there's so many different variations. So I mean, obviously, I'm very lucky that I get to have one of my own. Yes, but I'm, I'm still we're so very lucky. Oh, no, I'm, 
Now we're up to we're up to when I took the company over in 2010, we had three slides. Yeah. And now we have 42. That's crazy. So I, and, I'm I'm honored to be a part. Yeah, you're I'm, one I'm, of them. I'm, I'm honored. But and what's I love, your favorite? Do you like glass or brass better? I don't know. You know, for for me personally. When it comes to acoustic or a resonator, I prefer the brass. Yeah. But because you need the weight. Yeah, I yeah. need it. But then obviously for an electric, the glass straight yeah. up. But that's just me. Yeah. Uh, obviously the likes of Ariel Bowles and he, he can do what he wants. Because Rick Pony. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing, you know. He's so if it, good. If it works for you, you can you, you that's can it. do what you want. Do, do what's comfortable I'm for you. I'm kind of a one trick pony. I yeah. like a really small slide. Yeah. I want to be able to bend my finger and. Kind of like your slide. I don't. You hear you a lot of people say how you need six string coverage. You don't. We don't really believe that. No, no. You're not really playing more than one or yeah. three strings at a time. This yeah. is a little bit like driving a school bus. It can be. Yeah. This is a little bit like driving a sports car. Exactly. Yeah. So you know. So if we're looking for a maneuverability, then you need the Nathaniel Murphy. <laughs> I'm <joking>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always looking at the ones that we have in the shop because we carry a load of them. So obviously, if you're interested yeah. in the slides, folks, come by the CME. shop. CME. Yes. What did you think of the uh, What did you think of the new Yamaha FG9? They They were good. I have to say, they were very good. Um, so I was I got to play them upstairs with uh, Jake, Eddie, and Jordan Tice. Um, great guitars. Unexpectedly great. I thought, oh yeah, they're making these, but it was like, oh wow, these are actually pretty pretty good. I have to say. My name is Shingo Ekuni. Uh, I'm a product owner of this FG9 newly designed mm. uh, high-end acoustic guitar. And yeah, let me introduce you some. So this is a FG9. Uh, the FG is a Yamaha iconic acoustic guitar since 1966, mm. over 50 years. And uh, this is a high-end model with using a premium material and also premium handcraft quality. Yeah. And as you can see, it's very understated uh, aesthetic uh, design, but this is intentionally because this guitar is mainly for singer songwriter. Upon the Blue Ridge Mountains, that's where I'll make my stand. Upon the Blue Ridge Mountains, that's where I'll take my stand. is built to be a cannon, really. Um, we chose Adirondack because it has that reputation and that quality of de delivering volume yeah. uh, and with a great tone. We actually taper the edges around the lower bout so that we can achieve that low end projection yeah. and get uh, as loud as possible. So this guitar has headroom for days. Yeah. I challenge everyone to lay into it as much as you can, try and cap it out, and you really can't. Basically, this guitar is like straightforward dreadnought yeah. designed for the most demanding player. Like yeah. if, if you want a, a professional level dreadnought that delivers at the highest level, this is the guitar for you. Yeah. This is, and, and we're pretty confident that it will make just about any player happy. Yeah. Well, like I said earlier, it was the perfect amount for me, that it just it wasn't overwhelming. I was able to see what I what I needed to see, what I wanted to see. I was yeah. able to get a lot of really cool glimpses and uh, and, and demos, and yeah, also yeah. learn a whole lot without feeling like I missed too much or yeah. without feeling like I was dying by the end yeah, of day yeah. three. I mean, my favorite thing was um, meeting lots of people. It could be from pedal companies or amp companies and, yeah. and things like that. So it's great to meet people and chat with them. You know people that you probably haven't met in person or people that you haven't met at all. Yeah. So it's nice to obviously connect uh, with those people. Yeah, yeah and it was great to catch up with a lot of just our reps for, for brands that we carry here in the store just to kind of reestablish that relationship. You know, sometimes yeah. we don't see them, go, you know, they go months without stopping by the store. It's just email. It's nice to catch yeah. up face to face with some of the people that put such cool stuff in the yeah. store. Uh, so. I suppose let us know what you thought of NAM if you were there, if what you would like to see at the next NAM, and uh, hopefully we'll be there next year, right? Fingers crossed. Yeah, well, see you next time. You know why they keep the picture of Paul Gilbert on a different pillar than the picture of uh, Noodles from The Offspring? Because you gotta keep them separated. You gotta keep them separated.